Shout out to Messi and them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Argentina won, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They said that was the best game of all time. I didn't watch it. It really, I caught the end of it, and yeah. it was spectacular. It was yeah, I, I like the World Cup. I was just watching football. They had a penalty off. <laughs> like, it really what was. What better way to win the World Cup? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Than penalty kicks. Like, well, you damn near, that was so stressful, you might have had to turn the TV off at the end of that shit. Like, it was stressful. <laughs> but, black people watching was like. Keep going. No, I'm throwing it right to you. No, I'm good. Oh. Black people watching was like, that's strange. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what? Ain't no black people playing for Argentina. Mm. All the pitches of the Argentinian people, ain't no black representation. So people was like, that's peculiar. Is that what you're referring to? Yeah. Oh. I don't know the uh, so they basic- demographics of Argentina. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to pretend know. to. Nor do I, but based on what I read, they had a, a, a nice black demo. I'm sure. And now that demo is not being represented in uh, Indigenous, that, I'm sure. I mean, is that a, a... We got hockey here. And, it, I mean, there's a couple black players. There ain't a lot of black players on these hockey teams. And the, all of these cities that have a hockey team have a huge black population. Hockey not the biggest sport in the world. I'm just saying, I don't know if everybody... Shit, we got a soccer team here that don't have a lot of uh, soccer. There's a soccer league here. That's what I'm saying. Are they playing that? That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, don't know. I, 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 I you. That's a great question. I just know that soccer is the biggest sport in the world. See, I'm gonna let you finish this, but that's that's kind of my point about the uh, bringing up the merchant of death and what he was saying. Mm-hmm. The rest of the world look at us real stupid. I could see that just from how we view the World Cup. <laughs> now they do. Oh no, that's been no. It has U.S. Oh. used to be the shit. Worldwide, the United States was like the the allure of the U.S. Now, them niggas look at us like doofs. Well, I'm, the, I'm telling you, look at you. Who the fuck are y'all to take the world's biggest sport, take the name, and call it some shit that don't have nothing to do with niggas touching the ball with their feet? <laughs> That's not football. That's y'all American. That's some arrogant shit. Arrogant. I'm not gonna lie. Sure, hockey. That is some. Yeah, but name it shit. something else. That's true. But name it something else. Yeah, but it's fine. Let me let me get into this. Uh, I'll read this really quickly. Huh. Argentina's black population has been systemically erased and removed in white in a whitewashing effort. It is widely reported. It is widely reported that and help me read in case I'm stupid. And y'all stop talking to each other in case I'm stupid. <laughs> It is widely reported that the president of Argentina from 1868 to 1874, Domingo Faustina Sarmiento, pardon me if I fucked your name up, undertook... He's he's dead. He's gone. (laughs) Well, to his family. He got family here. Uh, Undertook a covert genocide... Oh, I'll take my apology back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck fuck, fuck that whole family. Undertook a covert (laughs) genocide that wiped out the Afro-Argentinian population to the point that by 1875... There were so little black people left in Argentina that the government didn't even bother registering African descendants in the national census. Uh, That's crazy. Eight years. Yo, again, just so y'all know why black people look at the census a certain way, too. But we'll get there. During his term, uh, Sarmiento instituted highly oppressive and deadly policies to eradicate black people. He segregated the black community from European descendants, placing them in squalor, Am I saying that right? Yep. Yes. Placing them in squalor with no descent infrastructure and health care. This became a death sentence when cholera, cholera. Uh, cholera and yellow fever outbreaks ravaged this community with no adequate measures to prevent or treat the illnesses. Sarmiento's genocide also con- uh, constituted the forced recruitment of Afro-Argentines into the military, mass imprisonment for minor or fabricated crimes, and mass executions. Sarmiento also enlisted Afro-Argentinian men in the army to fight the para, para, Paraguayan yes, War of 1864. Allegedly, Sarmiento knew that, the Argentina, uh, that Argentina wouldn't fare well in the war, sending thousands of Afro-Argentine men to their deaths. The war impacted the gender balance so severely that Afro-Argentine women were forced to have children with white or mixed Argentinian men. The endeavor was pushed by Argentinian leaders and intellectuals who wanted to erase the Afro-Argentine presence from all parts of Argentinian life, including culture. Yeah, cool. Now, you see that? I'm looking here. It says, in 1996, so, you know, just to show you how long 
Yeah, you talked about 1800s. You talked about the 1800s. Mm -hmm. In 1996, during a diplomatic trip to the United States, when asked about the black population of Argentina, President Car Carlos Menem remarked, black people do not exist in Argentina. We don't have this problem. We a problem. Everything you just read, this is some wild shit. Everything you just read, what's the difference in the ghetto? They segregate you. They put you in a shitty part of town where all of the resources are minimal or lackluster mm -hmm. in hopes that y'all get the fuck out of here. We just so uh, good at adverse conditions that we just thrive through it. Mm -hmm. But it ain't no fucking difference. Yeah. After Jim Crow, they locked niggas up, mm -hmm. sent niggas to war. They did all of those things to get free labor and cheap labor and have you in fucked up situations. Same shit. No Joe Biden. <laughs>